Hi, I'm Becky and I'm a young mum. I live in Leeds, I'm a 10 month old boy. I love my house, I've got it decorated how I want it so it feels really homely. I've got a massive garden that I can't wait to play in in the summer with my little boy and get it all really nice. I was 18 when I became pregnant so I spent all of being a woman being pregnant so I couldn't go out drinking legally and I didn't do drugs at the time so I wasn't exactly bad but I didn't really have a life. I was just uh, bumming around. <laughs> Once my boyfriend told me that he used to go in a mood with me when I came on my period because he wanted a baby. Um, I didn't feel like I already, but obviously I wanted to please him. I wasn't trying, but I wasn't trying not to. And he already had a little girl, so I felt like maybe I couldn't have kids. I felt like a, a failure. At first I didn't know whether to believe it because I'd done other tests so um, and I got so used to seeing it negative. Um, it was thin as well so I had to get like another opinion but I, I didn't know what to think, I was really shocked. Um, I suppose I was happy but not, just confused. Um, I felt ashamed even when I was pregnant, like I had a bump, I didn't like showing it around my mum, my mum was so happy but I felt a bit like the black sheep of the family, even though no one made me feel like that, it was just my own thoughts. So I thought that maybe I were disappointing them. I split up with my boyfriend when my baby was three months old. And when I got pregnant, he was really happy and everything just seemed really good at first. But then when I was heavily pregnant, he, um, he got put in hospital because he'd been out drinking. And um, it, I suppose it, it was the start of arguments because he should have been with me and um, something bad could have happened. I was on my own most of the time anyway. I was in a hostel. It felt like it was just mainly me doing everything on my own. It was just so much change. It was too much really to take on at such a young age and I did feel myself was sinking into a bit of depression but it, it's not like that sort of depression that people think where you hate your baby because I loved him so much I just I felt so weak and um, so tired and I just I felt like I couldn't really be there for him on my own um, which I, I know I was such a good mum I know that but um, I just needed support I suppose and that I wasn't getting from his dad which he had always been there, I'd always had that support from him. He was like my best friend and then to go from that to nothing was a little bit hard. Well, before I had him, I could just get up and do anything that I wanted to do. My mate could say, do you want to come to town? And I could go without thinking about anything. But now I have to think of someone else. I have to think um, who's going to have him or I have to think what does he need? Where, where are we going? Is it going to be right for him to be there? Um, there's just a whole list of things that I need to work out first. Hiya, Jaden. Hiya. Are we in Grandma's car? Where have we been today? We've been to Getaway Girls. Yeah, and you were a good boy in the crash, weren't you, today? You didn't cry at all. Even getting up in the morning, I have to think of him before me. I have to get him his breakfast. Um, I have to change him. Everything is about him now. No. I do. I do need to make sure I have time for myself. I probably would go insane. I love having him around because it's so rewarding. Now I probably wouldn't change anything because I've learned a lot and I have my baby. But I think that my life could have been so different and possibly happier. If I could say anything to the 17 year old me, it would just be to not worry, be happy, enjoy life and not rush into things just to please other people. Even if you think that you're in a good relationship and that you're ready for a baby, you need to realise that you may end up on your own. I thought that I was going to be with my boyfriend forever, but 
um, baby tests everything and it doesn't always work out how you think it's going to. Having a baby gives me a reason to wake up in the mornings. It gives me that drive, but it is very lonely. <laughs> Obviously it's difficult, um, but I don't think you really know until you do have a baby just how difficult it is. I mean, I, I love it, um, but it's still hard.